Investigation continues into yesterday's deadly fire at a Flint apartment complex. NBC 25's Brittany Shannon joining us in the studio now with new information on what has now turned into an arson and homicide investigation. Brittany? A woman died in Thursday's early morning fire at Ballinger Manor Apartments. Her death is being investigated as a homicide after police say the fire was intentionally set. Neighbors I spoke with today say they're still uneasy. I, I can't live over here ex after everything that's been going on. Stephen Smith is ready to move. Thursday's fire seared into his memory. I saw an old man actually jump off the the third story. Police say the fire was intentionally set, leaving nine people homeless and killing a woman who died of smoke inhalation. Her death now a homicide. I just think it's disgusting. Someone that can do that and then you know that 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 puts murder on their conscience. You know? And there was a lot of people out here and you know there's some elderly people over there, some people on oxygen. It's just pretty bad for somebody to burn up a house like that, you know, with uh older people living in it. Luckily, the fire did not spread to nearby apartment buildings, but residents in those buildings tell me that the smoke was heavy enough that it woke them up when they were fast asleep. He said all he could smell was smoke, so it was coming right in his back window over here. Started making me gag and throw up, and then as soon as that happened, I came outside and there's, I saw flames coming out of the the top floor and the image is startling and according to police these incidents are rare but that doesn't put these residents minds at ease it's just another another thing you got to worry about now police have not identified the woman who died in the fire at this time officials are however asking anyone with information on this arson and homicide investigation to call flint police bill